I forgot I've got to make another little piece to insert into the one end of my die holder and it's going to be 1460 uh, OD and then I've got to turn a one inch uh, shoulder on there to fit inside of it and then center drill it for the uh, spring loaded center to push into to get the die started on my stock when I'm trying to thread it. So we got to start off right here by turning this down to 1.460. Let's get to find a zero here first and set it up on the DR. I got to take 40 thousandths off here. Better turn the power on. First, we're going to touch off and then I'll set my DRO. And touch off. I will take 20 off here on the first cut. Clean that off. I'm trying to get a decent finish on here. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't be burdening us in this stuff. So we're halfway there. I'm just going to try a another... 20 on here bring it down to zero on my dro see how accurate this comes out there okay one more bird's nest Four six zero, oh, good enough. Okay, now we're gonna face this off, and I got to put a little shoulder on here. Oh, I don't know, maybe an eighth or so. It's right down to one inch. I'll have to get that measurement and uh, check that to see where we're at. So, let me pause here for a minute and get my measurements all ready. <laughs> I need to take off just a little bit more. All right, I'm on my zero there. So, I've got to figure out how much I want. I'm going to take it down to one inch. So, I got to take off. I'm going to have to check my measurements again. Hang on a second. All right, I uh, changed tools and reset this. We're just going to do this by hand so I can get to my zero a little bit easier. Uh, I'm going to go 140 thousandths on the uh, depth of that uh, shoulder and down to one inch. So we'll just do this by hand. I'll watch my DRO until I get to zero on it.
Get this bird nest off here. I'm just about done. Should be about my last cut right now. All right, I've got to champ that and stuff. But I want to see if it fits all right on this piece. Nice. Just right, a little bit of play there, not much. Right there, close. So I'll take a quick measurement. I think I'm a little bit under that one inch that I was shooting for, but we'll see. It's, it'll work. It's going to work fine. Let's see if I can get a measurement on this. I got 999 on this point 999, but I'm a little loose here, so the Okay, about a thousands under. That's good enough. It's not gonna hurt anything I'm doing. Okay, we'll put my chamfer tool in here and chamfer these two uh, edges here a little bit. Good now. Now we gotta just set up here and get this thing parted off. Alright, I'm all set all right, I'm all set up to uh part this off. I'm gonna make this uh thickness right in here 140 thousandths. That'll uh, be plenty good enough just to hold the tool in the center till I get the thread started. So we're at running at 256 right now. We'll see how that does. Just manual part it off. A little more oil here. I'm going to stop here for a second and see if I can get my file in there without getting hung up on something and just chamfer that edge a little bit. Let's see here. Should be able to if I just watch out and it'll get hooked up in the lathe. That looks good enough. All right, we'll finish our parting here.
I got a right hand uh, cutoff uh, insert here, so I shouldn't leave much on the piece I'm going to save. Now, if we get this done, I got to see if I can put a center in the other side. Almost there. All right, we've got to clean that up, and then we just put a center on the other side, on this side here that parted off, and we'll be done with this piece. All right, I've got this held in a hex ER40 collet block. I don't have much grip there, so I'm just going to take it real easy, just skim this off, and then do a small uh, center in it. <coughs> First, I gotta knock that nubbin off. And I think I'm gonna skin this just a little bit here. Yeah, let's see what, give her a few thousands to clean that up. Let's see if that does it right there. It might not. Give it just a touch more. Ooh. Couldn't get my chuck out of the way of here. I wasn't paying attention there. Yeah, I almost ran into my chuck. I think I caught that time. All right now we'll center drill that. That should do it. I'll just double check, see if I need to chamfer that. 
Actually, it needs just a touch more taken off of that. Well, let's try that again here. Need another three or four thousandths or so taken off. See, I still got a part to show in there. That looks better. Now I might have to check on the chamfer on that. And see if I can get in with my chamfer tool. I might be able to. That's a small piece for grab a hold of. Let's see if this will go in there. Might, maybe. Yeah, just touch it a little bit there. Good enough. Done. Okay. Now we got to set up back in the mill and finish a couple of set screws to hold that uh, die in place. All right. I did this off camera. I'm set up here uh, on the center here. And uh, I moved in from this edge. 250 thousandths that'll put me in the center of the uh, inch and a half die for my set screws. So we're going to do is drill and tap this hole for quarter 20 to start with. I'll uh, spot it first and then use a number seven to drill through there. Now we'll go change this out and go to number seven. Now I'm gonna chamfer that just a little bit. I forgot to grab my chamfer tool here. Take a second. See if that'll reach down here now. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna power tap that quarter 20. Get a little oil ready here. With my tap driver, I made to fit a uh, Jacob's truck chuck, drill chuck. Okay, that looks good there. We'll have to switch her over to back gears here. Give her a little bit of oil. Switch her over to back gears, and we're at 90 here right now. Just leave it set. All right, we got one done. Do the other one next. I forgot to show you my setup. I'll show you here in a second to hold this in place. Okay, gotta loosen up the vise and flip that over. Brushing that off. Michael being them set up here, just check this screw I'm gonna use. 
All right, fine. Okay, loosen this up and flip it over. And uh, the way this is working is uh, we can clean out those chips. I've got, uh, I'll show you here in a second. I've got this shoulder here that fits up against the vise, so it's just basically a stop. Okay, we just got to go 180 here. Should be right about there. Looks good. Up against there. Okay, we're ready for the next one. Bought it. Switch back into high range now. All right, and down to spot. Sorry about my hand getting in the way. I'm kind of tight here. The way my setup is. I, I should have had a little different angle on this, but too late now, I'm almost done. Okay, camper. flats on jaws with the flats on here okay back to back gears and oil here we go Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second. I might try drilling an oil hole in here on the side that would line up with the split on the die. I forgot to show you my setup here on how I'm holding this back up here and show you this. I think you can see that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, I put a uh, tote clamp here. Clamp down to my jack here that I made. This is like a planer jack. It goes up parallel with the base. And it just so it help hold this in, because I'm only grabbing it a little bit on this uh, hex here. I want to make sure it didn't want to tip down on me. So I've got a good hold on this now. With this tightened, the lock screws inside. They're brass tip and they lock up to this piece. And uh, then this everything's locked down good and tight so it can't be moved when you're drilling. Okay. Okay, I rotated this just a little bit so the uh, die groove in there to adjust it for the amount of thread you want to cut, if you want to cut a little less or a little bit more as far as deep and depth. Uh, I've got this set up. I'm going to put 
a little oil hole in here so I can put oil right through that split slot right in, down into the thread while I'm threading. Well, we'll get started here. I'm going to try maybe this first bit and this one oil can I got and see if that works. This first bit's about a 1.152. Uh, I'll see if that, because this one oil can I got, I want to check the tip on that, see if that works in that hole. Otherwise, I can go a little bit bigger. Let's see how this tip lines up with that in this one oil can. I'll probably have to chamfer that. I just want to see. I might have to put a different. That is pretty good. Let's see. Just almost all the way up on the taper. Okay. Let me chamfer that just a touch. Actually, no, I don't think I really want to. That's okay. I'll just hit it with my uh, hand one. I don't want to put too much of a chamfer on that. Okay. Let's pull this out. This bit and get it out of the way. Set my stuff down here. Slip the die back in in place so that oil hole lines up here. It's a snug fit on these. Sometime I might have to bore this out just a little bit more. I don't know. They do go in, but you've got to get them. Have that in with it. Spin that just a little bit. I, it's not quite lined up yet, but I can't spin it. It's got a probably got a little burr on there. But that should oil. I just want to show you that. I'm going to stick my oil can in here. There. We put it right down onto the thread while you're cutting. Okay, we're done with this. We'll finish up here and get the video ready. All right, here's all the pieces now. This is a piece that go, takes, uh, you can put in to center it up in the drill, or excuse me, in the lathe. You can center this up in the, in the lathe with this piece here. Then you can take it out when you've got a longer piece of stock you're threading, so it's out of the way, and use, uh, start with this wrench here. Once you, it's an old Armstrong wrench. Once you get started, then you, I've got a socket, a half inch, uh, inch and a half socket I can put on there and, and use it to, to drive it, but it all turned out really good. My set screws, and I got an oil hole in there to oil it. Works, everything works nice. Okay, that'll finish up this project. Thanks for watching. All right, now we finish this project. I'm going to do a little demonstration here. I've got a piece of 3 8 drill rod in there and a 3 8 NC left hand die. And we're going to start out with the wrench, get it started, and do a little bit, then we'll switch to the socket. I've got my spring-loaded center here that I made. Get a little more pressure on here, it looks like. Get her started. I think I might have to have a different center than that to start it there, start now and leave. There we go. Get her on there a ways and then we'll switch over and try the socket on it. Give her a little more oil. This is nice because if you have a smaller lathe, you can make a smaller one than this. 
This was, well, you can you still make it for an inch and a half, but make the rest of the body smaller and the hex smaller. And don't put a one inch through hole in it, put a smaller hole in it so you can make this hex smaller and lighter on the whole thing. But you can use this without having to have a long die handle. I've got one that might work on here, but this would definitely work real nice here. Just going right through here real nice. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. We're gonna pull the center out and put the socket, the ratchet and socket in here. Pull this piece out. There we go. See now if you wanna do long one, once you get out here flush, you can just go back to the wrench. Okay, and here's my ratchet and socket on here. Let me see if I can go back a little bit more here. Nope, I gotta pull that center out of there. Just a minute here. I don't have quite enough room where I'm at. I wanna leave the camera where it's at. Okay, now I can try my socket. I'll give her a little more oil. good and I can just flip that back to break the chips go back the other way do a little bit break the chips back some more a little more oil I think I got a watch here she's starting to pull around on me I guess it's all right. Okay. Anyway, that's how it works. It works really nice. Okay, we'll call this the end of this video.